Here are the folic acid dependent neurotransmitters, glycine, taurine, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine are called the catecholamines, serotonin, which is an indolamine, and then histamine. These are the ones of the list that are folic acid dependent. 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate is the activated form of folic acid, and I can't, I can't talk about this enough. It depends on an enzyme called 5-MTHF reductase. It's 5-methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. There's a lowered conversion due to a 5-MTHFR gene polymorphism, and a lot of people, up to a third of the population in the North America area, has this... Um, has this gene polymorphism or a single nucleotide polymorphism or a SNP. Up to one third of the population has it. It is diet, that is to say supplement responsive. You can't really get adequate amounts of 5-MTHF in the diet. So if a person has a problem converting their dietary form of folic acid to their active form, they must supplement it, which fortunately we can do. So here's the pathway. You get the, the folic acid dietarily gets turned on into several different isomers. There are about 10 or 11 or 12 of them. And one of them is called 5-methylene tetrahydrofolate. Then the enzyme 5-methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase reduces that into this active form 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate or 5-MTHF. This is the form that participates in all these reactions that are methyl donor reactions in the homocysteine pathway and also in methyl donor reactions anywhere they need to be done in the body. So this activated form of methyl folate comes from the... Um, normal activity of the 5-MTHFR gene, and if there are gene polymorphisms or SNPs, um, then we have an issue. As I said, about 30-35% of the population has at least one SNP, but approximately 10% of the population has no 5-MTHFR genes. And there are several different versions of this, and I'm not going to get into the, all the details of it because uh, it can get kind of sophisticated, but if we just look at the cross-section of people in North America who, uh, by uh, by uh, genetic background, have this, this uh, double allele SNP where they can't really make any activated folic acid or very, very little. 7.2% of the white population, 18.2% of the Hispanic population, and 3.8% of the Asian population in the United States has no 5-MTHFR uh, genes, or the double allele SNPs. And they are, again, supplement responsive. Now, there are two significant SIPs, SNPs single nucleotide polymorphisms. There's a, C, uh, there's a 677T gene, and um, there's a C677T SNP, and there's a 1298 gene, there's an A1298T SNP, and the C and the T and the A and the T, these stand for the, um, where there is, in the normal nucleic acids, you know, you have the, the bases, the four bases, the adenosine, the um, guanosine, cytosine, and thymosine, and um, you have those four bases, and then one of them gets uh, replaced there's a replacement, so it changes the gene activity. And so in this one, it's the C677T. The C and the T are, are replaced. Uh, the C and the C are, are the cytosine and the thymidine. And then the A is the adenosine and the, um, sorry, the adenine and the thymidine are, um, are the replacement ones. So that creates a, a different type of gene. And the genes don't do the job like they're supposed to. Now, 5-MTHF is the most commonly used nutrient in our office. That's Dr. Ganjemi and I both have the highest number of use of that substance. Not just my practice, it's Steve's practice also. And um, in my practice, about 30% of my patients respond to 5-MTHF. So you test with regular folic acid and it doesn't strengthen, and then you test with a 5-MTHF form and it does. In my practice, I have now nine or 10 different types of 5-MTHF. NutraWest just came out with one. I just got it this week. That's the ninth or 10th one that I have. What I do is when I start to test, folic acid doesn't strengthen a patient, and it looks like folic acid may be one of the neurotransmitter nutrients, I'll start to test with different types of 5-MTHF. They all have 5-MTHF, but they have different fillers. They have different binders. They're different, some are pills, some are powders. Um, so there are different processes that they're involved with their production. So I usually test at least three 5-MTHF before I give up and say it's not that. I've seen patients where I just took the time and trouble to test eight or nine of them and found that sometimes maybe only two or three of eight or nine 5-MTHF products work. So I know it's the 5-MTHF, not just one of the fillers or binders that's working because it's different companies, but some of the fillers and binders or some of the processes create a product which might work for one person but not another. So not bad-mouthing any company. 
all, all the companies now have a 5-MTHF product, and you just have to get a couple of them or three. I would recommend getting three at least and testing them and three different ones and test them and see how they work on patient before giving up on it because so many people have a problem with this. And many difficult patients with recurrent problems begin resolution of the problems when supplementing with 5-MTHF. Dr. Goodhart's father said, he said, if I were deaf, diamond, blind, and dumb, I could still make a living if I just had a bucket of cold water and a towel. That's how important he thought cold therapy was. Well, I could still make a living if all I had was 5-MTHF. I'm telling you, the two things that I do miracles with in my practice most often, that, you know, a patient comes in, the new patient, you make a miracle, which is always tough because it's hard to follow on the second visit, but the two things are injury recall technique and 5-MTHF. Because if they've been everywhere, those are the two things that nobody's looked for before. Think about it. I mean, if they, unless they've been to somebody who's done an injury recall technique, they're not going to have had that done, and those things can create miracles, as you know. Not always, but sometimes. And the 5-MTHF is so common, and people just overlook it, or they test one supplement, or they put them on one type, it's the wrong type for their needs. Yeah, uh, mental issues? Yeah, because yeah. so, that's the thing, because of the neurotransmitters. So if you have, if you have two SNPs, if you're homozygous, you, you're not making any. You're really not making any 5-MTHF. That means you're going to be deficient in neurotransmitters, except for what my mass action might be converted. I mean, you know, I, my clinical experience with this is huge. I've been doing it since 2002. I've got hundreds and hundreds of patients that have had in this substance, and yet it gets, still gets missed by so many people. And part of the reason it gets missed is because you have to test more than one product. If you don't find the first one works, try a second one or a third one, and maybe you can give up after three, but sometimes you have to search four or five to find the right product for the patient. And I've done genetic testing on about a dozen people, or they've done it on themselves, where I was blinded to it, and I found that the muscle testing strengthened the person with the 5-MTHF, as I described to you. Every single time, they at least have a single, if not a double allele SNP. Every single time, they're, they're showing it. So, um, you know, that's not a study, but I'm just saying it confirms my, my findings to myself, at least. And plus, I see the clinical responses. So, so many people need it, and they need it. They may need it for the rest of their life. They may need it only in times of certain stress. They might be under high times of stress, they might need it, and certain other times of stress is lower, they might not need it, you know, and it just depends. You know, they get a new job and they may not need it anymore. If you have one SNP, your chances are that you'll get about 60 to 70% of the 5-MTH that you, 5-MTHF that you need, which might be fine for you, or maybe not. So if you have double allele SNPs, you are got to have homozygous, you're going to need them, you're going to need it for sure. But some people kind of go on and off it, and... Um, you know, it's, 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 I can't tell you how common it is and how important it is. It's the single most used nutrient in our office, as I say, by both Steve and me.